Assalamu alaikum students in this video we are going to learn about theorem number 1 of chapter 12 and this is for class 9 10 matric so if you have not watched the first video which is the introduction part i request you to watch that video because that will be helpful for you to understand the concept better there will there are terms which you need to get familiar with and you need to know the uses as well okay so let us start with the theorem number 1 but before we start with theorem 1, I want you to revise a concept which we have done in our lower classes and that is the supplement postulate. The supplement postulate states that, that if there are two angles which are linear pair, linear pair basically means the angle which are adjacent and are on the same a straight line. Okay, the angles which are adjacent and are on straight line, they are called as linear pairs and if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. That means the addition of a two angles on a straight line which are adjacent to each other is equal to 180 degree. So we are going to use this postulate for in our theorem number one. So just get introduced to it and uh, let us move on to theorem number one. So first the statement of the theorem number one states that, that if there are if two lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles so formed are congruent now in the statement the part with if if two lines intersect this is our hypothesis then vertically opposite angles so formed are congruent this is our conclusion okay so if there are two lines which are intersecting each other let us consider line a b and line c d which are intersecting at point o then vertically opposite angles formed will be congruent now this is the second part of the theorem which is the figure so you first after writing the statement which will be present in the question you will draw this diagram okay you will draw this figure and this is nothing but you are just trying two lines which are intersecting each other i have named them a b and c d you can give them any other name okay so these are the two lines which are intersecting each other and now the, sec the next important part of the question of the theorem is given so what is given to us we are given two lines a b and c d intersect at o so you will just write them you do not need to memorize this just we will write like that only the two lines a b and c d intersect at o so now we have to prove that the vertical opposite angle so let us see which are the vertical opposite angles over here our first pair of vertical opposite angle is angle a o d and angle C O B. As I take the name of the angles, I would like you to look at the points. Angle A O T is vertically opposite to angle C O B. And similarly, angle A O C angle A O C is vertically opposite to angle D O B. Okay, these angles are vertically opposite, and we have to prove that these angles are congruent so we'll write to prove that we'll write angle we have to prove measurement of angle a o d is cong is equal to measurement of angle c o b and, and that is what we have written over here a o d is congruent to c o b a o c is congruent to d o b so we have to prove this and we are writing it by looking at the diagram okay so that is how the diagram is being used. You will just look, you will find the opposite angles and you will write over here. Now a very first statement, after looking at the diagram, we can say that, we can say that, now looking at the figure, we can say that the angle AOD and angle DOB, the angle AOD and angle DOB, they are linear pairs because they are on a straight line AB and they are adjacent to each other. I repeat the angle AOD and angle DOB they form a linear pair because they are on a straight line AB and they are adjacent to each other. And this will be our very first statement. So we will write it as our first statement that measurement of angle AOD plus measurement of angle DOB is equals to 180 because because of and then reason you'll write supplement postulate okay according to the supplement postulate these two linear angles 
they are equals to 180 degree similarly we have another pair of linear angles on the other line c on the another line cd we have a pair of angle cob and angle dob okay angle cob and angle dob they are also linear pair angles and they will the sum and their sum will also be equals to 180 degree and this will be our second statement so second statement is measurement of angle cob plus measurement of angle dob is equal to a 180 degree and it's the reason will be same because of supplement postulate okay the pair of linear angles we are adding them so i see i have done nothing i have just used a, uh, a cold concept of supplement postulate and we have written the same thing by looking at the diagram okay i have just picked out the two linear pair angles on the two different lines now if you observe these two statements carefully you can see that the right hand side of the both the statements are same 180 degree and 180 degree so when the two the when the right hand side of two statements are same we can say that the left hand sides are also same since the right hand side of the two statement are same we can say that the left hand side is also same okay so you we can write like measurement of angle aod plus measurement of angle dob which is from the first statement is equals to measurement of angle cob plus measurement of angle dob which is from the second statement and this is called as a transitive property okay next if you see here carefully this measurement of angle dob and angle dob are same on both the sides so i can cancel them from both the sides okay so now i will cancel angle dob and dob from both the sides and now so i will get angle aod is equals to measurement of angle cob this i have got by cancelling dob from both sides because it is same okay i can cancel same angles from both the sides so i get angle aod is equals to angle cob and this is what i had to prove at the first point my first point of to prove that was angle aod is equal to angle cob now i can say that if they are equal then they are congruent measurement of angle aod is equals to measurement of angle cob this is just an additional statement and you can write the reason as if two angles are equal in measurement they are congruent okay so now i proved that angle aod is congruent to angle cob and similarly by using the same way we can prove the other pair of the vertically opposite angle which is aoc and dob they are also congruent okay similarly by using the same process i can prove that okay so you do not need to write all the process again you'll just write by the above process and in the final after since we have proved the theorem we will write qed at the end of the theorem okay so this was all about theorem number one you can watch the video again if you have any doubts you can consult your teachers Take care and a love us.